This episode is a week old. You're, You're seven, seven days, days late, late to, to the, the pod. pod. And you know why? 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 Because you aren't a patron. How do I become one? It's so, so simple. simple. Just, Just enter your, your parents' credit, credit card information, information to, to patreon.com slash Shinjin Drowning and cha-ching. You get episodes a week early. Bonus episodes. And a whole lot more. So, so come, come on down. down. Patreon.com slash Shinjin Drowning. You won't want to miss this. <laughs> Say it again. You won't want to miss this. Three, two, one. I thought it was already going. Hello! Welcome to St. Johnny, the only podcast where I'm a male, she's a female. Brother-sister combo, have you ever heard of it before? Most people are just sister-sister, brother-brother. But we've actually role-switched and we've gender revealed. We did a gender reveal when we were born. I was born as a male, but, you know, either of us could change if that's what our heart desired. But so far, we're comfortable with what we are. Yeah, boys have it easy, though. Uh, are we starting a gender debate? This is close. This is <laughs> true. Um, I think men have it way worse. We have to we have to pull down our pants to pee. We can't sit down on the toilet, or if you, you don't t- have to wipe. Wiping's gay. I we, feel like men should wipe. Um, what? Why wouldn't we wipe? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's roll back. You don't wipe. wipe. I don't have to wipe. I don't wipe. I don't even use toilet paper at all. <laughs> then where does it all go? Hibernates. No, because <laughs> when I get in there and I see none of a roll is left, I'm left with one sliver, tiny piece of TP. Kaylin, you don't even put. You you literally when you get a new roll of toilet paper, you will put the toilet paper on top of the. Brown I did that piece. like twice, and you know why I did that? Why? Because you to get inf- back at me? Yes, because you infuriate me when you leave one. He leaves the t- toilet roll with one square left. You know Who why I leave it like that? that? Because some people need t- one wipe. Nobody needs only one square. If I go back in, I Nobody might need needs one wipe. Nobody needs one square. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. You can't do anything with one square. Yes, you can. You can do a lot with one square. Okay, that whole voice just showed me how little you can do with one square. Yeah. Think you can if you're bleeding on your hand. Well, why I'm doing I'm bleeding right now on my hand because somebody wanted to comment on how bad our mics are. I just want you to know there's hair all over this one. Also, I want to tell you that our mics mics aren't aren't bad. bad, Okay, compared to David and Jason, they said you guys need better mics. This is our first comment on our mics. No one has ever commented about our mics. They say you know your mics suck. Now they're gonna Um, cry. I hope they do. Your mics suck. Get one like David. I'm sorry, when 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 did we start comparing this? Oh, now next week it's gonna be your hair isn't that good, which already people are commenting that about me. Good. Get better you know, get it like David's. Which I would argue I don't want David's hair. I don't want it either. I do want David's Money. Money. I do want David's money. I do want David's house. I do want I want David's, David's friendship, but funny enough I already have it. That's so sweet. You guys probably hang out all the time. <laughs> huh. That's really sweet of you guys. But yeah, welcome to the podcast. I'm Weston Corey, 17 years old and not balding, but I will, I'll tell you, you guys, I'll be honest be. when I am. You probably will be balding. We've got Kaylin Corey over here. That's she's me. That's little old me. She's, you know, pushing on 20. I'm not. I Push in on 19. I feel like I am pushing 21. Yeah, you said this last podcast too. You're really original with your with your lines. I want everybody to Do you practice to know. your rehearse? <laughs> yeah, make another laugh laugh. <laughs> That's what you sound like. Yeah. Ow, Jade, stop scratching the wall over there. Boo boo. <laughs> My cat's so cute. Your- also, people are like, "Oh, you only say your cat's so cute on the podcast." Yeah, you do. And and enough. And I'm going to keep doing it because they're freaking adorable. <laughs> adorbs. My cat is adorbs, man. You know what I have a problem with? Tell me. I like always want hot Cheetos. And it's like you can't just have hot Cheetos with dinner. See, I see it the other way because I see hot Cheetos as an inconvenience. Why? They get your hands messy. They make you. They don't. They, it's not like it's not like eating blackberries where I just ate some blackberries. <laughs> And I feel energized. I feel refreshed. With hot Cheetos, you feel I feel like they're good, but 
eating them by the handful it makes me feel i feel warm dirty. and i feel calm really? and i feel like i'm at peace i feel like i'm ready for hibernation i feel kind of gross and i feel like i can't do anything after i eat a bunch of hot cheetos i feel and like i need my it. hands are spice up your life spice i like the spice girls. i put them in my salads but yeah eating but, them by the handful oh. honey honey i can't even grab my hand around a cheeto in the first place then get a cup pour like a baby bird or you chopstick trick Ew, anybody that does the stupid chopstick trick with your dumb little Cheetos, that is a waste of time. That is a waste of tools. That is a waste waste of of life mm -hmm. as a human. Yeah, so get new chops. I had to give a presentation today. Was it about that? No. So sweet. Yeah, I'm a sweetheart. That's Mm. who I am. Tell us, uh, you want to present to me? And I'll rate, I'll give you A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I literally did not, I didn't understand what it was. My group project that I did, I want everybody to know this, I hate group projects. I have a really funny picture about it. It has Ned Bigby. I just have to pull so it up sweet. and read it aloud because I think it's the best thing that to ever exist. It's like, if you know Ned Bigby, you know he's a comedian. You're having this up where we, when you're going to show it, it's going to be like, well. <laughs> project partners. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> trying to figure out what the hell is going on because <laughs> it's not gonna be that funny when i read it yeah you've already hyped it up you're hyping it up right now <laughs> i'm laughing exactly take your time I'm literally sitting here. <laughs> Not even. Project. Par- Project Partners. The most important. It's not funny at all. The most important yeah. choice you make before marriage. <laughs> okay. Project Partners. The most important choice you make before marriage. What? <laughs> what? I don't care that. It's just, a, it's just a little scene. It's so funny. You you literally have not explained what this project is. Oh, um, the group project was. Jade. Uh, I hated that. Group project was awful. I was like, we're for sure gonna get a bad grade because this one girl added in all these videos like right before we went and started playing like elmo and stuff and i'm like <laughs> literally what are you doing you're gonna make us bomb this come back we get an a plus so i don't understand a plus yeah i know i'm a genius e e for everyone rated e for everyone <laughs> okay um <laughs> yeah really proud of you really proud of your uh project i'm really glad that you got an a plus thank you because if you didn't you'd probably i don't know it's like my brain's on automative mode where whatever you say i'll have an automated response i feel like that's all the time that's Me? every second on the podcast with you podcast um, turn my mind off uh, turn the m- mic on mind off just in case you thought it was over oh my god <laughs> <laughs> literally our cat is a psychopath nice. and then she just licks your face like she's like she, this is my queen bee i am her queen bee and i'm like the Wait. Come bucket. I just want to make sure you guys know that this isn't over. My sound. No, bit, my I literally was about to say, do not play that. These aren't over. Okay, James Charles. Stop. Okay. What are we going to do for dinner tonight? Um, I'm like sushi, but we always get sushi. But it's so good. And I think about the seaweed salad. Sushi's so convenient. And it comes like in five minutes. I call and they're like, hello. And they, they won't even let me say my order. And they're like, it's on the way. And they're all they're already here. Before I even hang up, they're already here. And they make me tell them little stories and rhymes sometimes. Yeah, they told me to tell them a troll's curse. And when I said it, they like had to, <laughs> no, they had to that, solve that, it and get a car I heard from like, I was in the bathroom and I heard the troll's curse. And I was like, why is she? Yeah, I know. They were like, it's required. Because I've never heard that. They like, said, you want your seaweed salad? You must do The thing is, when curse. I answered literally, they never asked for it. They asked for like rhymes and nursery rhymes and like. No. And one, well, the story, but. 
I think I've never gotten the troll's curse. What'd you tell him? What ki- what curse? I can't tell you. It's a curse. Oh, uh, so only like- they know the solution. So I can't. If I said it to you, you'd be cursed, and I can't have that mm. because I don't want to do all the talking on this podcast. No, I get it. Yeah. So if you get a troll's curse, then you gotta <laughs> troll's curse. You gotta you gotta crunch it. <laughs> we need shirts that say troll's curse. Well, no merch idea. No. Yeah, um, su- I dude, sushi's so convenient. Sushi's so good. Are we getting sushi tonight? You tell us. This Just is kidding. N- you can't. I'm what? Huh? Ew. What? Sometimes, uh, guys, I, room temperature water, it's like kind of a pain to drink. What? I'm like, I don't want to swallow this. That's what I prefer. <laughs> No, cold water is the best. Dude, cold water ev- by Justin Bieber. Stream. Just ev- kidding. Yeah, I'm guys, sick of stream him. it. Ever since I found out, like room temperature water was so, it's so convenient. You go to like, because I used to drink water bottles by the dozen, but then I was like, oh, water bottles bad for the environment, bad for the environment. I have, you know, I don't even do plastic straws anymore, baby. I got metal straw, metal straw, metal fork, metal knife, metal water bottle, and I just filled up. Don't even need ice. And I chug it down because it's so easy to throw. The thing with this, though, is that it makes so much noise when you add ice to it that, like, I don't want to add ice because I don't like to draw attention to myself in school because I don't like people. <laughs> um, haha, <laughs> relatable. Mm. Yeah, that was great. Um, so it, like, makes this really annoying noise. And I feel like everybody on the subway would, like, kick me off. I thought that I saw Karamo on the sub- subway today. Oh, sorry. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Um, cool. That's all I wanted to do. Um, I don't you saw Karama from Queer Eye? I thought I did. Okay, because this is how it all happened. Hopped on the subway. I don't like people on the subway ever. Heads up. I enjoy... Okay, you go, though. I looked down at uh, the seat next to me. I was standing holding on to the rail there's a seat right there i look down just because i look down sometimes Mm. i see these really cool shoes and i'm like they're black shoes with these studs on them and i'm like somebody like cool wears these whoa i know and then i um i turned and i saw a little bald head and i said who's that and then he got up and then i'm here he's up he's getting off this is what we are. Did you make eye contact? I mean, he didn't look at me, I don't think. But I looked at him and I was like, his skin is so clear. You he would has... know if it was Karamo though, right? You I would... was like, I was like, this could be him. What? I don't, how do you know exactly? How do you know exactly? Because his face is so distinct. I He's so, he looks calm. He looks like. Yeah, a... yeah. The dude looked calm, but I was like. It looks like, I a, was you, like if you made eye contact with him, he would tell you a nursery rhyme. I was like. I don't think that Karama would be on... I don't think this would be him, though. <laughs> Which stop did he get off at? I don't know. I don't know. And then I went and I sat in his seat. Ah, uh, that's... You felt... Was, was it warm? I don't remember. That was what would tell me. Okay. Well, keep it to yourself. Because I know he he's, like, probably on... He's probably above room temperature. I'm above room temperature. Kalen can, like, touch a doorknob and I... It's, like, it's hot to yeah. the touch. Yeah. I, we've said this before, I think. I don't know. I'll say it again. I'll say it every day of my life. <laughs> hey, can somebody give us VidCon passes? Yo, get me in VidCon. We're trying to meet Joey Graceffa. I think that'd be a perfect Oh photo. my God, I want to meet him so bad. Joey and Daniel, get the photo and make it happen. I've, definitely, would, I've seen Joey in person, but I don't think I've... I don't I, know if I have. Seen Dan and Phil, though. I should have taken did, a I picture. Did, I did see Dan Ugh. and Phil. I have a picture, and I'm in the background because my friend went up and asked for a picture. I have I so scared. many regrets about not taking pictures with people. It's like... Who? Dan and Phil. Um, you saw them? Yes. I rolled the stupid tractor Oh, my them. God. I remember that. Yeah, never mind. That's how we interact with people that we... I, I forgot we had like <laughs> an actual admired. video of us interacting with Dan and Phil. Where we, yeah. roll, we got this tractor someone gave us big green tractor it was and we tiny. rolled it towards dan and phil and backstage in the green room yeah i and i don't i don't know if he looked i really regret not taking a picture with God, them we should have i know we could have framed it in here god <sighs> who else have bad. i not taken a picture with 
We did see fun for Louis that one oh time. Oh my god, I <laughs> he's so funny. He's so tall. Just his essence. He could definitely tell me a story. I'd go write it back. I don't think I'd like. He could it. tuck me in. I oh, one hundred percent. I feel like he'd talk forever. Yeah, I'd he'd be probably like, tell we get it, one Louis. Of those long stories. We get it, Louis. Go mess with your dreadlocks. <laughs> Is he still? Does he still have those? I don't know. Would you put his, your hand through his dreadlocks? Why not? He like lives on a van. But he would tuck you in. <laughs> he, he would, would tuck you he, in. No, I think if I was sleeping, if if I was sleeping on his van, because he has a van that he goes like travels around the. He doesn't have a house or like an apartment. He has a van, which is um, kind of a homeless tactic. But you know, you do you. Fun for Louis. Well, it's not homeless because he lives in a van. Is anyone really homeless? The world is your home, you know? People are homeless. No. <laughs> it's not true. Um. Anyways, I feel like if I was sleeping on his van, he would be like, well, here's a little treat. It would, like he would treat you me, like an airplane would. He'd make me some grits in the morning. I really no, want No, I think grits. he'd make you tea. No, I want grits. Green tea, he'd walk over. If hey, you guys know what grits are, let me know. It's fun Because I feel like some Here's people some don't know what grits are. Everyone knows what grits are. Everybody knows what grits are. No. Stop slamming your fist on it's the It's not table. a southern thing. It's like a everybody knows. No. Everybody Honestly, does it's not probably know. not even an American thing. It's probably like French. People. Doesn't the French know love French. grits. The French. I know France. What even is grits? Like cheese? Me- grainy cheese? No. It's like grainy rice and then you can put cheese in. You can put rice? whatever you want in. Yeah, it's like a rice-like substance. Sounds kind of good. It's cheesy, say, ricey grain. Well, no, it's not cheesy unless you put in cheese or get Who's the Who's eating cheesy... grits without cheese, though? That cheese... Lots of people. No, but because they get, they get buttery. About, it's weird to think about having cheese in the morning. I love cheese. Who's getting cheese in the morning? What's your problem? Me. If I was making a, an ideal breakfast, it would make be it. like... You should make it. I won't. Mm, you won't. No. Go. No. <laughs> It'd be like scrambled eggs or an omelet cheesy omelet oh anything eggs That's with good. cheese eggs with cheese recently i wanted french toast and i was like Did is you french make it? toast fattening yes and french then, toast is all fat tea how do you know what, what is it you syrup it's powdered sugar syrup um, no bread. but i'm like i'm like how do you change the bread into french toast you that's what i was wondering fry it you have to do you, other things first. What? You butter it up. You butter it up. You fry it's it. It's like, no, you have to like put egg in it or something. Uh, this isn't a McGriddle. No, this is what it is. Because when you eat French toast, it's not like just toast. It's not like bread. You have some kind of weird like texture in there. You get the syrup in there. Oh my God. I want food so bad all the time. Oh, so true. That's relatable. You guys are probably relating to a lot of what she's saying right now because a lot of people do love food. And if you love food, let me get a like on this. Ew. People, I'll tell you what people didn't like. Why? My latest tweet. What? About Harry Potter. That was your biggest tweet. No, not my biggest. You want to read it to the viewers? Okay. Well, wait, what is your biggest tweet? Um, The one that came from my heart when I said I would work at a place to learn my favorite order and then i'd quit and that got like nine thousand. wow i know you I almost don't. upped it but no, didn't. sometimes you just can't and guys i don't know why my tweets never go viral and they're they're picture perfect tweets no they're not. everyone sees them they say i'll give it a like i'll give it one like i won't share i will not share this yeah, i'm not gonna like let anyone to know i shared I, i'm not gonna let anyone know i looked at this okay so i tweeted i haven't seen or read harry potter and i'm still one of the greatest people ever created on earth really makes you think people thought i was serious about this they're like you're not the greatest person on earth who said that look in the response and they're like who are you who are you (laughs) looking at my tweet harry potter uh profile pictures was one of them jk rowling yeah actually two of them were she has two accounts now yeah one's for her uh fan fiction oh yeah okay I think JK's got to let the Harry Potter thing go. Like, wait. She's still, like, looking back on it. JK, give it up, JK. JK, I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> okay, like, this one response, yeah, yeah, whatever. Who are you again? 
Amy Boyce, who are you? How do you even see my post? And if it's whatever, why are you responding? Well, does she very, does that Harry make po- them, is, Does she love Harry? I don't know. Like, does that make people happy? What? Being like, Replying? thinking that they're literally so smart. I just find it crazy that people reply to tweets. Yeah. That is insane to me. Like, but then you think about it. Joe Rogan said this and he was like, is Michael Jordan commenting on YouTube videos? And it's like, whoa, you think about it. Who are these people that are? What? Michael Jordan is out there doing amazing things. I guess. <laughs> I did not understand your, like, is he commenting this on is, YouTube okay, videos? This isn't my statement. This is Joe Rogan's. He was like, is Michael Jordan leaving comments on YouTube videos? Who is? Just kidding, uh, guys. Everyone wrote a comment right now. Everyone support your friends on Instagram. Um, yeah. Let me check a little topic I got on here because uh, I got some good ones. Um, how do you feel about the massive amount of young girls that see Rhett Milk as... <laughs> Rhett <laughs> Milk. Rhett and Link as... I don't even know how I got that. Rhett and Link as DILFs. That's... I feel like people need to change. Do you see them as a DILF? No. You why not? I don't like old men. If you guys don't know who Okay, they're, they're not, not old. old. They're First not, of all, no, they're, they're not da- they are dad. Okay, I don't want a father. Um, Rhett and Link. Yeah, I don't I think no. they're I think they're more than a I don't father. want like I don't think that dads are like I'm not like oh my god, he's a hot dad. See, there's who are these people that have fan accounts? There's like so many girls online who make these edits and have these fan accounts for 40 year old dads, Rent and Link. Maybe and they, they like, just think lo- they're, they think they're the cutest people in the world. Because people have issues. I don't get how, th- what happened like, in your childhood? Like, Joe Jonas is beautiful, but if he had a child, I'm not going to be like, oh my God, Joe Jonas is the hottest thing in the world. But he's still a DILF. No, he's not. He's not a dad. Even if he was, but if he was a dad, but Joe is different. He's like 27. He's actually probably 26. Rent and Link, we're talking 40-year-olds, maybe less, 30. Okay, then why? Why? I'm just asking what's going on with this. Because And I do don't you know. have a fanny out for them? No. Everybody, like, people like people over 40. People do love that one guy. They love that, Beyonce. He's that old guy that was, like, choking this girl in this party and, like, it was, like, that old guy and people are, like, people love this picture of him and he's holding these two girls. I, I don't even know. I literally don't know It's what probably, like, a Marvel about. character. People love those. And, like, people love the old Marvel characters that have gray hair. If they don't have gray hair, get out of here, you know. They love those DILFs. And I'm just wondering, who are these people? And why don't you love me instead? Because they're gross. I think I I will be a DILF, and I am a DILF, and I'm a DILF forever. So, guys, go support Dan and Phil (laughs) on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube. Yeah. They're cool. I like them. We met Red Link, uh... (laughs) <laughs> it was, okay you just go ahead and about brag that? about that yeah no it was uh it was awkward it was awkward yeah, yeah. that's all i have to say about that well all right who should tell the story i didn't want to tell the story i it's there's not much to the story it's there's not of, much to the story we were on golf boring. carts backstage vidcon we were having fun on golf carts let me tell you if you go to vidcon hop on a golf cart and a golf have cart somebody backstage. have somebody literally just drive you around because that's what we got and it was great yeah it's great being famous and then we saw um rent and link and we were like oh my god it's rent and link over there and then i swear someone that was in our golf cart was like <laughs> rent link and then they were like slow down the golf cart slow down the golf cart and i think it was like, l L, okay, she was like, slow down the golf cart, Rhett, Link, slow down the golf cart, Rhett, slow down, <laughs> and then we slowed down the golf cart, and it was like, right when I started slowing down, I was like, no, L, you don't have to do this, you don't have to do this. <laughs> the golf cart slowed down, we were getting closer and closer to Rhett and Link. Or maybe, <laughs> was it L, or was it, uh... I don't know, someone was in the golf cart telling the golf cart guy to slow down, so we would, so we would meet them, because we have kind of connection, deep roots to Rhett and Link, because we were both born in North Carolina, no one else was. And yeah. um, it was like, slow down. And then we slowed down, Rent and Link there, us here. And they came up to the golf cart. And I guess, I don't know, whoever was with us was like knew them already or met them. They were like, hey, how are you doing? Like, hey, this is why I said this is Kaylin. And I was like, I don't want to be in this conversation. Because I didn't want that to be the moment that we met Rent and Link. 
I want to meet Smosh. But it was awkward, uh, you know. But I want to meet Sean Mendez. I do love them. Sean Mendez? Yeah. You think that'll ever happen? Oh, yeah. Who's one person that, like, do you think you'll ever meet Ariana Grande? No. You don't think so? In your lifetime, you're going to live. If I wouldn't you live go, to be I 100, you don't think you would ever meet, come across her? No. That's so crazy. I don't think that it would happen because I feel like she's everywhere she goes, she like has like everybody is going up and I wouldn't want to just like, I don't know. I wouldn't want to. You don't think you would be in a friend group and then like she would be in a friend group and like you somehow collide and like you're like, oh, Ariana's right there. No. Because we don't have any like mutual friends. Not at the moment. We're not even 20. And then you're talking to 100. If you're talking okay, to 100. Okay, well, I'm saying Sean Mendes. Sean. Sean it'd, be easier, you it'd be easier to meet Sean than to meet Ariana. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Sean has connections. Sean. Sean yeah, was in no. MagCon, which therefore lowers him to a standard that anybody can meet him. <laughs> That's so sad. He probably hates that. I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry, Sean. He wants to be Ariana Grande level, and he wants to be Ed Sheeran level. I mean, some people think that he is. They weren't there for the MadCon, but we know, and we, we were remember. there for the MadCon. We I saw wasn't. The I don't like mad, mad, mad dog. Crap. I hate mad, um, mad people. I hate when people are mad. Ew, be that nice. sounded weird. I hate when people are mad. mad. Be nice. I like to um get frustrated at people via text. Awkward. I think via it's text. fun. I think it's fun. What does that mean? I like to cause some drama. You text people? No. I don't. I don't communicate with anybody. I communicate mostly through group chats, but... That's sad. What? Yeah. I think I've al- I've always gone more to groups than individual settings. That's I would much sad. rather hang out with like... I think three is the perfect group or four. <laughs> That's so fun. So we should probably add someone to this. Add, oh, um, L Mills. What's Elle. up, Al? <laughs> um, and for our next uh, podcast, when we are uh, in LA, we'll be recording live from David oh. Dobrik's house with special guest Jason Nash. Yes, David we will. Dobrik Jason's going to be Elle there. Mills. Jason's going to take his shirt off. My third grade crush recently, after she moved to China in third grade, she has a boyfriend now. What do you think about it? I, like, don't care. I do. I don't think I've had any crushes in the past that I'd still have a crush on. It's, no, I don't still have a crush on them, but it's, like, even people that you but don't, it's like, even people that you don't date, you still see, and, like, if you, like, even though it's it was, like, back in third grade, there was still, like, I don't know. Maybe there's a chance one day she'll randomly come back to America. <laughs> and I have like weird experiences with people in my past. What? What's up with that? Like it's like the whole situation is weird because of this one occurrence that happened. What? Tell the occurrence. Well, I don't want to single anybody out. <laughs> Was this with like a lot of people? No. And it's... It- so it's like one time I was on Facebook and this guy liked me. <laughs> and then I was I had this boyfriend that I was like it was like we had a moment of breaking up Whoa. it wasn't like on and again off again I can't talk on again off again but it it was like break up get back Facebook I guess status it kind of was complicated ew no <laughs> Facebook status single together together single Okay, and then um, <laughs> trying to add I like, got this Facebook message, and it was like, hey, like I think you're cute or something. Whoa. Like, I don't know, like maybe they asked me out. I don't really remember, and I was just like, you're cute too, but I kind of like somebody else. Whoa. And then this caused like a whole huge, I don't even know. They got in, but did they, how many people did this get involved with? I feel like the whole school knew. Jeez. And then the Jeez. two the two I'm guys like fought. The two guys fought one fought fought. Oh, I remember that. Oh my god. Yeah, the two guys fought one day and then people were like this is because they both liked her. That's crazy. And now nobody likes me. See, so. the thing was with my third grade crush, which <laughs> she she isn't in third Wait, uh, movie stop recording. Movie. <sighs> 
Uh, let me just add, she was, she's not in third grade right now. She was. When I was in third grade, we liked each other. But the thing was, she liked... She... 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 Go watch the movie Her. It's about a guy who dates his laptop. Um, anyways... She liked me and another friend. Not when well, he wasn't my friend at the time, but she, he liked. Okay, I'm, I suck at telling stories, man. Yeah, I am the do. worst storyteller in the world. Um. Okay, so this third grade girl, she liked me and this other guy, and we both. It was like a love triangle. We all like. I liked her. The guy liked her. She and liked you me. And you and the guy liked each other. Yeah, me and the guy also liked each other. And you guys kissed. No. Um. And she liked the guy. And then, so there's this, like, love triangle. And we were like, ah. Uh, and it was like, he once got this, like, I don't know. We were in, like, this park. We were after school waiting on the cars to come back. Like, your parents to pick us up. And she gave him this little sparkle, like, off her shirt or something. Or off her backpack. Like, I don't know. It was, like, just, some, like, a little, like, I don't, what is it? A little diamond, a little fake diamond or something, and he was like, "I got this." And then I don't know, I like fell in the grass, and he like found it, and I was like, "Man!" And then we put our differences to aside, and we became best friends for like for a while. Okay. So love can bring people together, bros. Love can bring bros together, and love can separate bros, man. Love can separate bros, man. Tell me about it. <laughs> I kind of want something hot for dinner. What, like Rent and Link? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Wait. Touchdown! Wow, that was really funny. <laughs> really tickled my funny bone. Was it? Do you think so? I'm like, pad thai? Um, I don't know. I don't think people care. But... I do think people care about Advice Hour. Welcome to Advice Hour, a new segment on the podcast where it's not an hour long. It's just advice that we asked for, I asked for. Kaylin might not even know I asked for it. I saw. But I went and I asked you guys to send me us advice. Uh, not us advice, but ask for advice. And we are advice tellers. So we're gonna I feel like I'm advice. good at advice. Okay, well, bring it to the, bring it to the table here. Um, Mag King. <laughs> What is it like? <laughs> Sorry, wait. I just realized that that's like Matt King. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what did she just... I feel like this is just going to be a question. What is it like being Rainy Rodriguez? See, this that's wasn't a Q&A. A you question. got it all wrong, and we're not going to answer that. So, you're a horrible person, and you're probably going to die before us. What do I do if I have the horses in the back? Horse so see that's funny because the horse's song the horse's song that's by hilarious that's really good oh here's someone guest wait actually let me repeat this guest for 2069 that's his full name oh that's so friend good is pregnant. my best friend is pregnant so that's also not very funny <laughs> that's also all that they sent that's uh let's see because you know this bitch could really use a freaking. Okay, that's part two. We we gotta play part one. So basically, I suck in math, and my teacher hates me. What should I do? It's get such a boring uh, tutoring. Tutoring. Go get. I don't know. You have to suck up. There's YouTube video tutorials on math. Go take them. Make your teachers like you by, I don't know, loving them. Sucking up. Yeah. If it's a dilf, get some red link action. Stop. Here we go from Teddy Kister. Hey guys, so I have, a, I have I need some advice. I'm having trouble figuring out um, the best way to play Minecraft. I know, Kaylin, you're an expert, so okay. Some tips. So this is more for you. Does he mean playing or downloading? Playing. Th- and what down, the heck? P- probably like which to play on, like PC, iPhone, Xbox. Uh, PC. If you play on Xbox, you're literally stupid and you're not a real gamer. Maybe so he's asking how to build a house too. So you probably just okay. Teach him um, about that. W A S D are your best friends. Those are your. Those are gonna be your no. And then I your, thought you said I was answering. You're gonna want your co-pilots, your shift, and your space. You go take it back. I was so stupid. Your turn. Yeah, I know it's my turn. We're switching off back and forth. No, I never thing. said it was your turn. It's for you. Okay, um, I think that you should get some mods because that'll really spice up your Minecraft <sighs> life. You're really good at this. I know. Good job, sweets. You. Here we go, Noga Margalit. 
What do I need to do to get on the pod? Nothing. You're on, baby! You're on! Alex Fermeister. So, I need some advice. Um, all my friends prefer Roblox over Minecraft. Okay, so I we're in Minecraft. I don't know if I, like, vibe with Guess them anymore not. because of it. You know, like, I'm just not feeling them good vibes. So, like, I don't really know, like, what should I do? You know what I mean? Like, all right. Should I just stop being friends with them? I don't know. I just, I need She's help. giving us Please options that we don't know. need. Okay, okay see, so what you're gonna Alexa, do? I'm gonna out- what you're gonna Alex, do? I'll I'm gonna answer. answer so, I'm gonna answer. So, I, you have Minecraft so days one day and you, have you guys are gonna play. One day you guys are gonna play Roblox together. The other day you're gonna play Minecraft together. It's kind of like each day is a different world. You switch. So. See, we don't play Minecraft every day. Some some days, once a week, maybe we'll go Roblox Town. We'll we'll get a friend on. We'll play some RB. You know, and then we play a little bit. We do a little bacon. Do a little snaking and. You play both, you know? Don't get your friends in a twist. Come together as one and play both games, baby, because both are enjoyable, baby. So, sorry for calling you, baby, twice. Uh, let's see, Dev Balls, what you got to say? Trader Joe's or Whole Foods? So, Neither. that's not really advice. Hair's teeter. But, a lo- actually, a lot of people don't know what Hair's Teeter is. It's a uh, North Carolina-based grocery store i would not say north carolina based because I it is so you're wrong i don't think north carolina is. started i want um cookout really bad right now so just mm, like cheeseburger hey weston and kaylin um i've been single for a while now and i Us just too. need a partner if you will uh to just hang out with on friday night mm-hmm have cold beer uh eat a little bit of chicken fried and just have fun with ride my tractor big and green so uh, uh if you have any advice for me i would really appreciate it thank you god bless god bless you want to take this <laughs> i'm speechless um we're in the same pickle except we are not sounding like that she wants, she is asking for solid advice on how to get a male or a female. She wants someone to spend her Friday nights with on a little tractor trailer. She wants to get a little, I don't know, okay, get um, a little smooching. What's so. it called? What's it called? Farmers Only? Maybe try Farmersonly.com, I think. Maybe it's .net, maybe .org. Maybe check that out. Check it out. out. Um, type in your info. And if you're not 18, lie. Um, let's see. Molly Drew! <laughs> What do you do when you're visiting your scary second cousin and you're scared of them and I don't want to go help? We have this problem she too. She kind of switched the uh, switched the POV there. She said, what do you do? And then she said, I. So I thought that was she, very well, interesting. Well, she's asking like, what would you do? Because they're asking for advice. It's like, what would yeah, you I know, do? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. So actually you're wrong. I'm right. Well, uh, no, because then she said I. She said I as in herself. I so. think she likes a lot of different pronouns. I don't think you understand how English works. <laughs> Maybe an adjective. Who knows? Uh, JK, everyone, I'm not dumb. I just like planned them. No, you literally didn't understand any of that. Whatever. Um. Yeah, I think we have this problem too. You just gotta, man. I know we don't. What? Our second cousins? I don't even know. We who have our a, second. We cousins have problems are. with first base cousins, first base family members that we get. Scared not of. really. Um. Old, old doctor. That is not a cousin, dummy. I'm, I said first base family members. Okay, no, you said first base cousins, and then you said it. And okay. We're talking about cousins. We we're talking relate, about cousins. We're, we're talking about cousins. No, 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 no. Switch the plot no. up. Switch if you the switch the plot up, then you can't really shut up. Oh nouns. my god, you're literally gonna. I want to throw something because you're being so annoying and loud. I hope she doesn't. And you put us in her perspective. She's going to visit her cousins, which sometimes we visit our close family members and we're like, we don't really want to visit, but you just got to tough it out, baby. Put on those high, high hoots and tell them what they want to hear. Don't, uh, if they're like, what are you into recently? And you are into, I don't know, something that involves the arts. Say you're an accountant and you're studying to be a lawyer. Anna Jagad. (laughs) 
So there are these groups of people at school that I want to be friends with, and I don't know how to approach them. Do you guys have any ideas? Yes. This is a genuine question. You find a common interest. Are we five? No, take off you your shirt are literally and send them a picture. So annoying. They want genuine answers. They came to the wrong place. <laughs> God, you have issues. And then you, you gotta say you gotta do. Worst joke of the century. <laughs> Find something new. You gotta say you got got issues. Yeah, you go. You have problems. Yeah, you got them too. See, and then it's like, what's the point of that? Okay. Um, you could, you could say, go okay, find you a find interest. a common interest. Yes, because that's how you make friends. You don't make friends that you, that's what I'm freaking saying. What about coffee? Stabbed a hole in it. Stabbed a hole in the coffee. It sounds like she's cursing them. <laughs> I didn't. Um, I'm hungry. As she says. What should we get for dinner? Um, I think it's time for one more question. My, I'm, I'll have the last question. What should we do for dinner? That's not advice. Yeah, I need advice. What should I do for dinner? <laughs> um, well, I, honestly, I, pad thai is great. But I've already had a hearty bagel, and I'm like, I don't really want to Bagel, do- bagel. Is a bagel. You don't really want hearty with hearty. It just doesn't sit well. Oh my well. god, you gotta brick then in what the, the heck tummy. You do gotta you brick want? in the tummy. So what do you want? What do you I'm want? I'm not a Lego baby. I don't want the oh brick my god. in the tummy. Literally just answer. What do you want? Well, if I could do anything, I can honestly make a salad. No, like, that's so... I'd be happy with that's that. That's so... Or, or we can get yummy taco. I don't want that. <laughs> we can get Mexican food because I love tacos. I love Mexican and I love Mexicans. Trump, don't build that wall, baby. Um, I don't want a uh, taco. You don't have to. You can get uh, something you want, and I can get something I want. But then it's going to be... Okay. Okay. Just kidding. You don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> I want pad thai. Um, in other news... This is our new segment on the pod where we're going to talk about other news. In other news, other nudes, Jerry Russo nudes. <laughs> and we came and brought this up yesterday and I was like, well, I completely forgot this happened and I just want to bring it back. I was Never roll forget. Back. So Jerry Russo, I just can't believe he, if you haven't seen them, they're glorious pictures. Um, Jerry Russo from Wizards of Waverly Place. The man took some nudies and I'm not here, I'm not here to nude shame. Wasn't I'm, it I'm, just his butt? I think so. Maybe a little bit of peen in there. I had forgot. I don't think I've seen. They were on think Twitter. I want to. I'm not, I'm not nude shaming. I'm not. I'm actually nude loving because I think he did a great That's job. That's kind of really gross. <laughs> That's like disgusting. I'm saying get that dill faction in there. Ew. Uh, I'm, I'm saying, sick of this. Next. I'm next. Saying, no. Maybe this no. Can inspire other, Red news, other, news, other news. Other news. Other news. Other news. Maybe this can inspire Link to go out of their way. No. Nobody like should do think that. Think of the fan accounts. Okay. They can suffer. They're going to suffer if they, they see that. They would go insane. They would like die. You think they would enjoy it or actually they'd probably No. They'd disabled. be like that's disgusting. <laughs> have you seen what James fans have been saying about his butt? They're like. Whoa! They don't want to see it. No. They're like James. Like I like you and all but this is too much. I think. I, I'm honestly surprised that people are so scared of some booty action these days if well, james like, charles would wants you, to take off his pants people are like this makes me uncomfortable james <laughs> and he's like well here's another he's like yeah take more you see we as humans have the privilege of closing our eyes you it's not like you can hear the booty coming you <laughs> i hate you the can, way you you see it and then you close your eyes and that's something Jerry Russo gave us the privileges of. If you don't want to see Jerry's nudes, you can you can take your eyes and you can close your lids, and you don't have to look at it. But if you want to hear Rhett and Link talk about what they did today, go watch Good Mythical Morning, <laughs> or their podcast Ear Biscuits, which I think they're competing with our title because that seems a little Ear Biscuits, Sinjin Drowning. Did you? Yeah. Camera. Uh, talk while I go. Memory card is full. I want some pad thai. Does he dare to agree? Look, man, I honestly, I would have a split of pad thai. 
Yeah, but also I could have half of mine tomorrow for that's lunch. That's true, that's true. You bring up that. And I'm like, that'd be really good. That'd be really good. But also hearty with hearty. You, you to need Hardee's? to chill out with... Yeah. You can't put these in specific groups because it's all different. It's not all the same. It's not all the same. It's all different. It's the same. It's all different. It's all different. Look, it's man, all... we've got our big beach trip coming up. Spring break. I want to be like, looking hot for these ladies. It sucks that you're if not going to get got, any. If I got bagel status and pad thai status, think about my status. That's good status. If Brent Link saw me on the beach, what would they say? If Jerry Russo, tell him he's fully nude on the beach. If James Charles, we sit him all up side by side. They would all probably score me an average four out of ten. And that sucks. Sorry. You think James Charles will be a dilf? No. Do you think he'll even have kids? <laughs> well, if you're listening, she just shook her head no. And she's really concerned about James. No. Do you think he'll ever be married? I don't want to talk about James. He should get on the podcast. No. That would be... Am- I, I would love to see what you guys would would find a common interest no, in. No, we would have tension. Yeah, but then you'd find a common interest. I guarantee it. And you guys would like become best friends because people who don't no, like each wouldn't. other eventually come together. That's not true at all. Opposites attract. No. You guys would attract and you guys no. would maybe date. No, no. Why don't you guys date? Because I don't. You're not thinking about he feel how he feels. I don't care how he feels. Okay. But you would date, let's say, Rhett. No. <laughs> no. If you had to choose, though, Rhett, Link, Jerry Russo, or James Charles. Link. They're all naked. <laughs> oh, my God. None. I don't want that. I okay, don't want they're that. They're fully clothed. They're fully clothed, each one of them. Link? I guess. That's so sweet. I don't want to date any of them. You think he'd cook you, like, breakfast? Like spaghetti. For breakfast? I don't know. Ask him. Ask him. Hello, Link. I'm not Rhett. I'm Link. not Link. Hello? I'm not anyone. You want to role play Rhett and Link? You be Rhett. I'll no. be Link. No. No. Hello. Welcome to Good Mythical Morning. I'm here with my boy Rhett McLaughlin. Hello, Rhett. This is this. This is our first episode. This is called the Silent Treatment. So Rhett's not gonna be talking. Ow. I Rhett wasn't just Rhett. Hurt his hand. I'm not Rhett. Rhett's doing this game. <laughs> Rhett's doing a new game where he pretends he's not himself. I'm going to spill the wheel of mythicality. <gasps> Rhett's got to take his shirt off. Ew. Go do that on Good Mythical More, our second channel. And then it, that'll happen. On their second channel. Um, yeah, I can see it now. Welcome to the new segment of the pod. Welcome to the new segment on the pod with calling, saying, where, why is Elle Mills in Texas? By is the she- time you hear this... She might not be in Texas. Unless she's staying for a week. I'd be surprised. Um, let me bring up this new... Welcome to our new segment. It's called... Hate the Claps. Uh, Man Crush Monday. Someone told me about this. They, uh, I was asking people on Instagram. I said, send John an account. What is a good new segment? And they said, Man Crush Mondays? Which we do... Pu- we publish these on Mondays, so this would make sense. Yeah. Who's your Man Crush on the Monday? Now I'm nervous. Who's your man crush Monday? I wrote one down. Let me check. My man crush of the Monday is Markiplier. You may know him. Ew. He's the YouTube gamer, but he's more. I think this week I want to tell you guys about Markiplier because he's more than just a mark. He's more than a plier. He doesn't even have pliers in his garage. How I do you couldn't know? find them. I checked. Oh, that's um, so gross. But his name is Mark. Or maybe it's Marcus in full. And he gets the full status he gets oh gamer nerd youtube gamer but he's more than that guys he goes out of his way he probably goes to the gym he's ripped man that guy's ripped scary he probably he's probably so nice he might even have a girlfriend who knows so i think you guys should go and support him and say man crush man crush on his instagram and i wonder what he'll say back now, I'm, let me find somebody. I'm going to go through my who I follow, and I'm going to pick one. Oh, that's sweet. Or do you want to pick one from my who I follow? I can go through. We can both go through and find one for you. Find some common ground. Okay. Um, All right. Let's see who you follow here. I mean, you only follow 100 people. That's pretty surprising. 120. You've got Shane Top. He's already kind of been a man crush Monday on here, though. But yeah. 
Um, you've got Danny and Alex. You've got we've. Mm, we've I can't do them. that to them. You've got uh Garrett Watts, Kib. I love Garrett Watts. Is that your man crush? He's my man crush. We've got every AJR. Day. We've got Chamberlain Pennings. We've got Jake Johnston. Let's, we've got um, let's Hooligan Chase. Oh, we've no. got we've um, got Murr. No, I had Jokers. an idea and then it, I lost it. Oh, let's go comment on Franklin Jonas. He is the Jonas brother. He's the one that never gets enough recognition, which is so rude because he is great. MCM, y'all. MCM. Go comment. Go comment. Don't tag me, though. Guys, tag me. Tag him. It's so scary because I keep looking over and I can see a perfect face in the in the wall behind you. Wait, wait, let me take a picture actually because this is so, it literally, it's like a horror nightmare where there's a nose and two eyes. It's like, no, it's over there. But uh, Franklin anyways, that's a gross name. I don't think anyone should have the Franklin name. Frankie for short. But like, why would you make your Instagram? Why would you publicly announce that your name's Franklin? That'd be like me making my name William, but I'm no discrimination to the Williams. Wasn't it uh, storming last night? Yes. That was insane. I thought that uh, I was going to get struck by lightning, <laughs> even In though like, room? even though I don't think that it was lightning. I was just like, I'm near the window and I'm going <laughs> to like die. Remember when that was the thing? It was like, stay away from the windows. Yeah. I like moved away in my bed. Uh, yeah. I don't think that was a, even a possibility. It was storming like crazy. There was I this don't one. I remember this. Okay. You must've been asleep, but there was, it like woke me up from <laughs> my slumber That's sad. and there was this huge I, I think it was thunder. I don't really know. Or like rain. I don't know. A mix of everything. And it was so loud. I like thought that everything was going to go to pieces. Man. Maybe that was a dream. It was real. But we, I, it was raining today. So maybe. But it was hey. a dream. And it wasn't real. How did I get the jersey with the name O'Neal? O'Neal. 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 Mac O'Neal. It's like boom. I put it in the black slam. Um, can you. Should you go ahead and order the pad thai? Since it's on At your six twenty, I I don't it'll even know if take I want a while. Pad, I would do want pad thai. I guess it'll take a while to get here. It'd be good. Um, I mean I don't need it yet. I'm not that hungry. Unless you want to order, <laughs> it's you. But you have the previous order on your phone already, so That's it's like. Good. And I can look up, guys. If you go on Twitter and look up uh, Postmates code, sometimes they have free codes on there, not like the ones where people are like, use my code. But um. I watched Game of Thrones last night. First episode, season one, episode one. So if you guys could just spoil the whole series for me in my replies, I'm sure that's going to happen because I've already been on... Like, literally, I can't even scroll down Twitter without people being like, the dragon is coming. And, like, I I haven't even seen a dragon. I've seen, like, four characters, and that's all. But it seems pretty interesting. I don't know. I'm not really into the war movies, TV shows, but... You know what? With that much people being like, that many people being like, hey, this is good. I'm like, let me check it. Let me check it. And I'm checking. I'm for sure checking, guys. I'm checking like crazy. <laughs> I'm shucking those oysters. Um, go to Full Moon Oyster Bar. It's our dad oysters bar in North Carolina. Yeah. Please go to it. Go to it. Get a shirt. Oh, yeah. Get one. Dare you. <gasps> Dare. Right. It's a dare, so you have I to. I do triple dog dare someone. It's a triple dog dare. What's going on in your life? I'm not Nothing. sure how much longer is on the podcast, so I'm just keep, I just keep going. 54. Okay, we can keep going. Five more minutes. Less than that, please. One. Um, In my life, I'm ready for spring break. I School is a lot, guys. Let me tell you something. If you don't like school, get ready to hate it. If you go to the next level. What's the next level? If you, like, go to college. I feel like nowadays, it's like everybody has to go to college unless you have, like, a really good career. I feel like it's the opposite. I feel like it's becoming less, like, you need college and, like, more, like, with the world of social media, you can form any... You can already show people what you've done. And, it, like, if you want to be an, if you want to be an animator, make an animation... And people will be like, oh, cool. Yeah, I'm saying if you don't have the, you. like, social media presence. That's true, that's true, that's true. And then you, yeah. You ugly, and you ugly, and your mother ugly, and your sister ugly. You just plain old ugly. See, oh my god, I almost bought $4 of more sound packs on this app. Please delete that app. 
Explosion! Electric shock. Rooster. Actually, horse. That's all I hear these days. When Kalen talks. <laughs> People love this. <laughs> Who? They can't get enough. Who? I don't know. Everyone. They're like, dude, this is the best bit on the podcast. I don't think you've ever seen that ever. When I sing. <laughs> glass shatter. Right? Because I'm not a. Because it's so awful. Yeah. It's not that bad, guys. Really. Really? Let me check if I have one more topic. No, it's good to end. It's Is good it? to go. It's good to go. It's good to go. Everybody. Uh, um, let, let me just say, we aren't on the podcast comedy iTunes charts. So if you guys could rate this, give us five stars. Maybe listen five more times. Don't joke and give us bad stars because that's so rude. And then we'll actually kick you off of here. Once I think we, we actually, we have a 4.9 rating, 300 ratings. Well, who gave us the bad one? I don't know. Someone probably thought they were funny. It's not funny to give people bad ratings. It's not funny, guys. Because you're you not know funny because you're going against the line. Once we find out how to block you off our live stream, you're going to get kicked off. Once we find out how to remove the bad reviews, it'll be five stars only. So, Roasted. <laughs> Please help us. Five stars. Like us. Um, subscribe. Um, comment. Tell your friends. Hey, Syndrome is a hilarious podcast. You'll laugh every second. They don't say, there's not one f- non-funny moment because they're always so funny. Wesson's the funniest. No, they say, we're sick of that sound machine. They'll say, don't, they'll, they'll don't, say, don't. I can't even play because I got a little hooked ad on here. Thank God. But does the story end? I had fun tonight. What are you talking about? Our date. I'm so, I'm so glad, glad you finally met the ladies from the science group. group. What? I've been <laughs> home all night. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> Funny. I'm, I'm serious. James, James, I literally James, just James, saw James. you. We, we kissed. kissed. What? What was, what was I wearing? wearing? I, don't I don't know. Red right hoodie? Shit. What's going, What's going on? on? James? James? Don't freak out, out okay? I need, I need to, to look out the door. back snake door. I'll Look, I'll be there in five minutes. minutes. Don't talk, talk to, to anyone. I'll be wearing, wearing a blue, blue hat. hat. If I'm not, not, do not talk, talk to me. Talk to me. I, don't I don't understand. Just do, Just do it. it. I'll explain, I'll explain later. later. This isn't funny, funny, James. God, that lasted... F- <laughs> it's not even halfway done. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for listening. Please rate us. Give us reviews. Love us. And I'll see you on the other side, Kamastos. We'll be eating pad thai. Screw loft. What? Huh?